Campaigners angry at the state of water quality on the east coast have staged a paddle-out protest in Scarborough today. Surfers, paddleboarders and kayakers met at the town's South Bay this lunchtime, calling for more to be done to clean up the sea. Michael Billington reports. Under near cloudless skies, the rolling surf of Scarborough South Bay should hold a magical magnetism for these surfers. Instead, the powerful pull of the waves is waning because of what lurks beneath the surface. Definitely see sanitary products and things like that, definitely. And sometimes the water is a little bit more scummy and sort of brown, bubbly stuff. I just go in with the, I don't look, because I don't want to know, but it is there. So it's quite grainy and I find, you find there's a lot of sediment in the water. You just know there's raw sewage out there. What do we want? Clean sea! This so-called paddle-out protest by the campaign group Surfers Against Sewage stayed firmly on the shoreline this lunchtime. Some decided to take the plunge later, but many remained unwilling to wade into the water. I've been ill and my daughter's been ill. She's starting surfing and she was really ill last summer, pretty much the whole summer. And she's never normally sick, so it was definitely from going in the sea. You can see stuff floating around, like brown sludgy stuff. Like, you can see like the contents of what's come out of the toilet sometimes floating around. Storm discharges into waterways in England hit record levels last year. In Yorkshire, more than half a million hours of sewage spilled into seas and rivers. Yorkshire Water says it's spending £180 million to reduce discharges, including work starting this month on a storm overflow in Scarborough. They have been given a monopoly. All you had to do was make sure no poo goes in the sea. They have failed horrendously. It's unbelievable the way they've treated this business. For some, the temptation to get back into the water was too strong. But with South Bay's water quality rated as poor, they may soon start to regret their decision to brave the waves this lunchtime. Michael Billington, ITV News in Scarborough.